Olympic Rage calls on IOC to allow podium protest. 1968 Olympic medalist Tommy Smith and John Carlos pictured here with fist raised in a black power salute are among those who have signed the open letter. <coughs> CNN over 150 athletes, sport organizations, human rights and social justice experts have signed an open letter calling on the International Olympic Committee to allow athletics to fundamental human rights to protest, including at the podium. As the Tokyo Games opened, the signi signatories, including U.S. hammer thrower Gwen Berry, as well as 1968 medalist Tommy Smith and John Carlos, who famously raised the gloves the fist, on the podium have urged, urged the IOC to refrain from sanctioning athletics to demonstrate. The letter calls for the removal of the IOC's Rule 50 ban, which prohibited athletics from protesting at Olympic site. Following a 10-month ten ten review of the rule that included in April, the body decided to uphold it, but in July added the amendment to allow, allowing athletes to express their views in mixed zones, press conferences, and during interviews, as well as prior to the start of competition. The IOC has said the rule aim aims to ensure that the focus at the Olympic Games remains on the athletics' performances. U.S. athletes Graham Barry, who turned away from the national flag at the June track and field trials, also signed the letter. Letter acknowledges the amendment as a signal the IOC is open to con continued engagement, but it claims the changes do not reflect a commitment to freedom of expression as the fundamental human rights or to racial and social justice in global sport. It states we believe the global sport community is at the turning point in matters of racial and social justice and we called on you as leaders on the Olympic and Paralympic movement to make a stronger commitment to human rights, racial, social justice and social inclusion. A fundamental human right, Gwen Berry, a 32-year-old contender to medal in Japan and the signatory of the letter drew much attention when she refused to face the American flag during the playing of the national anthem at June's U.S. Olympic track and field trials. Barry, who is still slated to begin her Olympic competition on July 31, 31st, treated her support of the petition on Thursday, saying we need to take a stand. Speaking to the Guardian newspaper in the UK on Thursday, British sprinter Dina Asher Smith also called on the IOC to remove the ban, saying protesting and expressing yourself is the fundamental human right. If you were to penalize the summer for standing up against racial inequality, how on earth would that go? How on earth are you going to enforce that? When people feel strongly about something, particularly when it's something that is so close to your heart, and as a black woman, woman you think about racism, I just think you can't police people's voice on that. That's an incredibly difficult thing to do. CNN has reached out to IOC for comment. <coughs> 